We don't like to take risks when it comes to security. And internet banking is no different. With the Bendigo, on top of our usual login details, we've got a security token that generates a new PIN every time you log in. So even if someone does get our login details, they still can't access our account. So if you'd like extra security when you're e-banking, there's only one bank you need to know. You, you need, need to, to know, know the Bendigo. Bendigo. <laughs> Welcome back to the Geelong Cricket Show as we introduce our Geelong Cricket Show Personality of the Week. And Mr Chris Kelly, the evergreen from the Torquay Cricket Club. Welcome to uh, the show, Chris. Uh, Torquay Tigers, first up, haven't had the best of seasons, but uh, it can only get better. Well, that's right. I, I suppose, uh, yeah, well, it can only get better. I think we're uh, pretty much uh, at the tail end of the field in all four grades, so it uh, hasn't been our best. But in saying that, we've got uh, it's given an opportunity to a lot of kids to come through and play and um and recent results, we've had uh, a young Matty Grosman in our seconds, took seven wickets, and he's a 16-year-old. It's a terrific effort. And uh, another guy, Tommy Henderson, last week, he's a 15-year-old, batted 84.4 overs in the seconds against Newtown last week. So, Great effort. Terrific efforts. And, then, yeah. and you've got young Slater down at the John Cricket Club, so you're producing the youngsters, and that, that's going to be the key to your future success. Plus maybe... Uh, the uh, the importation of, uh, of of a professional player. I mean, looking back over the years, with uh, when uh, the old fox and uh, if he's watching this morning, good morning, to me old mate Laurie Winch. Uh, Winchy was one of the, the brains trust with yourself down there. I mean, you you, you, you led the brigade with uh, the likes of uh, Greg Batty, uh, the English import. You're up there with them, and uh, yet this season's been somewhat a little difficult. Yeah, we lost around about ten players out of our, our first grade. From last year, so that's a fair hole right through the club. I'm um, speaking to Dean earlier. Earlier, he's at Leopold has gone through similar things in regards to development of juniors. So, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. We need a, an appoint a, a a professional coach, and I think that's uh, we're starting that process now. So, um, if anyone's out there and looking to coach a uh, quality club, then here's a chance to uh, <laughs> speak to Grollo. He's a, <laughs> get through to me, and we'll um, have a chat to you and see what you can see what you've got to offer the Torquay Cricket Club. Chris, I uh, know. Oh look, uh, you know, on field is obviously uh, where most success comes from, but uh, off field, you really need to have a strong committee and lots of workers involved. I mean, uh, has Torquay got that down there? And uh, you know, obviously, it hasn't worked on the field this year. Mm. But have you done a lot of things to really strengthen up the off field sort of uh, things down there? Yeah, I, the, the off field is superb. We've got, I suppose, if you look at our top five clubmen, they're all off-field workers, and they're terrific. We've got a, uh, a great um, new chef down there, Rene. We have Rene's restaurant open on a Thursday night. We do 50-odd meals. Um, off-field's fantastic down at Torquay. It's just we need to, to start to focus on uh, on these kids and, and a professional coach to get the on-field results. Chris Kelly, uh, over your career, uh, let's look back in time. Uh, where did you start, and uh, how did you finish up at Torquay? Uh, where did I start? Well, I started at, uh, well, as a, a Chanel College boy. Oh. Chanel College boy, so it's going Bob back. Bob Merriman, Mike Botel, there's a few, few yeah, names that yeah. Chanel has produced over the years. Yeah, and uh, I think the first senior game was at South Barn Creek Club. And we had um, uh, John Evans, I don't know if you know John yes, Evans. He was, he was he was a wicket keeper at uh, Geelong Sub District Cricket Club, that's school right. teacher. Yes, that's right. He was a, uh, a, uh, a friend of my father's and he got, got me up to South Melbourne Cricket Club for, for a couple of sessions with the... Uh, um, with a few of the guys there, and um, Charlie, old Charlie from Newtown, <laughs> take, take me up to <laughs> Charlie Southern. Pierce. Charlie Pierce, <laughs> yeah. a great man. Uh, then I, I pretty much went to North Geelong and spent a lot of my uh, junior, senior years at North Geelong. Um, and I was uh, uh, approached by Belpo Bob, Stilto to go across there and end up playing there for, for a number of years as well. Um, after that, I, I spent ten years in Queensland playing footy, so at the Labrador Footy Club up there. So. And then coming back to Torquay, and uh, I will remember well remember one game that uh, I watched uh, Newcomen District and Torquay play out at uh, Greener Reserve in a in a final, uh, and uh, you and uh, Doug Stevenson, the big boy, uh, you uh, you took Newcomen District to task. Yeah, oh, big Daryl, big Daryl, yeah, big Daryl. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he did. It was. Um it was a grand final, actually. No, that's right. Although it was against Belpo Still. Against Belpo Still at, at, at Newcomen Newcomb District. That's right. Yep. And in the grand final there, and uh, Belpo Still had won the the GCA First Division Premierships the previous two years, and uh, we were massive underdogs to win that final, and, and um, it shows that cricket's a funny game. We turned it around after, I think they were 
two for 150 at tee on the first day. It didn't look good, but we uh, ended up bowling them out for 220 and got the runs pretty easily. Chris, what are some of your highlights in cricket? I mean, uh, you know, uh, what, what, uh, how many hundreds have you made, or what's your highest score? Uh, yeah, I, I go in. I played a bit in bit in Queensland. I got 150 in a first grade match there. And that's I've got a, two first grade hundreds. Um, none of them in the GCA. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the aims was before I finished up it was to make a, a GCA hundred. Unfortunately, it hasn't been the case. But um, I had a few opportunities and haven't taken them. So uh, you get to that stage. Uh, get the 70 and get out, well, you shouldn't. <laughs> Simple as that. Well spoken. Now, yeah. uh, and nowadays, uh, you're uh, unfortunately because of a uh, continual uh, niggling back injury, you're uh, playing down there with, uh, in the thirds with the, uh, your, your son. Yeah, well... Must be a great feeling, the father and son combination. It is. It's, it's, it's been... That's one of the highlights is actually to play with. He's, he's only 13, Tom, and um, uh, look, he got his first game on turf last week. I didn't want to mention this, but... We, uh, we played together the first game on turf and the seconds against Newtown and Dad's batting at five and Tom's batting at six and uh, <laughs> Dad's gone, never made a golden duck. You know, <laughs> never made a golden duck in senior cricket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got a float. <laughs> Here we go. I've got a floating delivery that drifted in, hit me on the big toe when I was giving out LBW first ball. First ball. Yeah, first ball. And anyway, Tom went, my Tom was batting at five, of course, and as I'm walking out, he goes to me, Dad, what, you reckon you're out, Dad? You reckon you're out? I said, yes, son, I think I was out. And he goes, um, he started laughing. I said, you better not laugh, son. You're facing the hat-trick ball. <laughs> 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 he first gave my turn. And survived it. All he wanted to do was make one. And he got, he got his single, and uh, Russell Mitchell took a classic catch and second slip and dismissed him. But oh, well, he outscored Dad in his he first did, game. He did, so... The future of the Torquay uh, Cricket Club uh, is uh, is certainly uh, one that will is, is in good hands. One person I must uh, make mention of, and I think uh, we've got an enormous amount of respect for, is a uh, man by the name of Michael Coleman, who uh, does such a wonderful job looking after Spring Creek Reserve from both a cricket viewpoint and uh, and a football viewpoint, but from the world of cricket. Michael, he really has been a backbone of, uh, of uh, that Spring Creek Reserve. He, he treats us as if he's his own front lawn, doesn't he? Oh, look, Mick's been a uh, rock down there for years. Without Mick Coleman, I don't, I don't think we'd be a turf cricket club, to be honest. That's, that's how, how irreplaceable he is. He's, um, he loves the wicket down there. He has a lot of pride in it. Um, it's a not an easy wicket to manage. It's a, a very difficult sloping wicket, and it dries out really quickly. But he, he knows the conditions, he knows the weather, and, and without Mick, we'd be... We do really struggling, so. Our Geelong Cricket Show personality of the week, Mr Chris Kelly. We wanted a green home with rainwater tanks, solar power, solar hot water. It's really strange. Uh, the Bendigo is the only bank which will give you a loan, which is an incentive to help the environment. The Bendigo actually reduces the interest rate for environmentally friendly houses or products. So, if you want to save money and the environment, there's only one bank you need to know. You need to know the Bendigo.